Hello and welcome to this Dr. Rosmas key skill video on using the equation of a circle to find its centre and radius. Now in a previous video we saw that if we had a circle and it had centre with coordinates AB and it had radius R, then the equation of the circle was x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared. So that's the key formula here. Now sometimes when we have the equation of a circle, we don't have it in this nice kind of like squared form. We've got just a kind of mix of terms. So you want to have like x plus or minus something squared and a bracket as well for the y with something squared. And we haven't got that here. Now the strategy is to use completing the square. So let's first put these terms in order which will make it easier to complete the square. So we want all the x terms together first. So reorder the terms x squared plus 4x. Then we want the y squared, then we want the y terms. So we've got the plus y squared minus 4y, and we'll leave that 4 alone for the moment. And then we're going to complete the square. So let's think about this, the x squared plus 4x. If you don't know how to complete the square, please look at my video on that one first. But remember, what we do is we halve the coefficient of the x. The number in front of the x gets halved, and we do x plus that half number. Not x plus 2x, but just x plus 2 and that's squared. And then do you remember, well if you were to expand that, x plus 2 all squared would give you x squared plus 4x plus 4. We don't want the plus 4 because there's no plus 4 here, so we're going to throw it away. That's how we complete the square. We're going to do the same for the y's as well. So we've got y and then what's half of the number in front of the y? What's half of minus 2? It's minus 1. That squared. And then again, you think, well, if I expanded this, that would give you y squared minus 2y, and we'd also have plus 1. We don't want the plus 1, so we throw it away. You should always be subtracting something after this, regardless of whether it was negative or positive there. And we still got the equals 4. Now, we're nearly in this form, but we've got this kind of minus 4, minus 1. We don't really want those there. We want that on the other side of the equation. So let's move those to the other side of the equation. So you've got the x plus t squared, you've got the y minus 1 squared. And then, well, the minus 4 minus 1 is minus 5. The minus 5 we add to both sides of the equation, so we get 4 plus 5, and that's going to give you 9. So that is now the equation of your circle. And from that, we can then find the centre and radius of the circle. Now, do you remember, to find the centre, well, we just negate that, so... The centre, the x value of the centre is minus 2, and we negate that so the minus 1 becomes plus 1. So that is the centre of the circle, and if r squared is 9, then r would just be the square root of that, so the square root of 9, which is 3. So that's the radius of the circle, and that is the centre of the circle.